Hi all and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all fine. Yeah, today I'm going to just show you quickly how to create a DOS bootable stick. Um, you're going to need one like that if you just want to update your BIOS on, let's say, some older motherboards. Or if you just want to update the BIOS on some graphics cards, you're going to have to have a DOS bootable USB stick. So you can see here right now, uh, I just got prepared this folder for you guys. And here I'm going to show you also which files you need to create a DOS bootable stick. So here just go inside and I'm recording right now, uh, let's say over the smartphone. So I hope the quality will just be uh, okay. Uh, yes, let's zoom just a little bit back and then we are good to go. So come on. So yes. Okay. So the first thing that you need is this tool here. It calls uh, HP. USB FW, uh, just Google it. I'm pretty sure that you're gonna be able to find it on Google. And the other stuff that you need is this file here, USB DOS. Okay, so here inside you're gonna find this folder. So that means just open it and then you just paste it on your desktop or where you just like it. The thing is also that um, in, inside this folder, you're gonna not see anything because all these files they are just hidden, okay? But here something is inside, believe me, okay? <laughs> so, um, but this is just uh, the things that you know that you need to, uh, let's say, download it for yourself. Otherwise, you will not be able to create a bootable DOS stick or let's say USB stick. So for now, uh, just start this tool here. We're gonna begin with HP USB um, FW, just start it. And then you just take now a USB pen, just like me, wait, here we go. Okay, and now um, you can just close this window here because we just don't need it anymore. Uh, the very uh, important thing that you need to know, if you have a USB pen, which was, let's say on NTFS, you need to format it on FAT32 because when it's just here selected on NTFS, you're gonna not be able to create a DOS startup disk. Like you can see now, it's not possible to create a DOS startup disk because it's here selected on NTFS. Okay, here you need to select FAT32 or FAT32 and just then you're gonna be able to create a DOS startup disk because now you can just mark it here and then you can select this folder, which I have already shown you that yeah, this folder, the USB DOS folder, um, just go search it. And if you have just paste it on your desktop, just go to your desktop, select this folder. And here we go. Okay. This one here type. Okay. Press. Okay. Then, uh, just get here and a quick format because it goes just faster. And I can recommend you USB sticks with about four or eight gigabyte maximum, because if you just use bigger USB sticks, like let's say 128 gigabytes or 256 gigabytes, <laughs> this could be too much. Okay. So it's recommended to use a USB pen with about four or eight gigabytes. Okay. So let's go and just press start. And now you can see that he tells you that you're gonna lose all your data, it will be just formatted and blah, 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 blah. Of course, you need to know that this will now erase all your data inside the USB stick. So let's go and go on. Here we go. And it confirms which USB pen you have. Sometimes you need to wait about two minutes, sometimes maybe five. But if you have, let's say, a good uh, USB stick, then this should go, let's say, in about one or two minutes. And here we go, it's already working. Yes, so now it just tells you what he has done and all the stuff. You just now press OK and just close this window. Now I'm gonna just zoom back a little bit. Here we go. And um, you can also now take a look inside the USB pen or let's say inside, yeah, the bootable uh, USB uh, drive, but you're gonna not be able to see anything, but I can tell you this is now bootable to DOS. This is what you need uh, to, let's say, do some BIOS updates on some older motherboards or on your graphics cards. Now, the thing that you need to know is you need to select on your computer that your computer is able to, uh, let's say, start 
over the USB port. Okay, so now let's just um, yeah do a restart. And uh, if you have not done it before, then just get into the BIOS and select it, or let's say uh, just set it that he he will be able um, to uh, start over the USB ports. Okay, so in my case, I got here now a HP, and I have already selected. And uh, you need to search this option like on boot options here, and here I can just select, let's say startup over my usb uh, port or usb pen okay so you need to be sure that this is selected otherwise this will not work so you can uh, select this on your computer on your notebook and whatever and uh, this needs to be uh, like that otherwise you will not be able to boot over your usb pen so now i'm going to just get out here and i'm going to press f9 to select the boot drives okay so now in my case with this HP notebook, I can now just press F9 and then I got here some options and I can tell him, hey, I just want you to boot over my USB pen, which we have just created. I'm gonna go in there and then I just type it or I press it and now we are here on, let's say some kind of uh, DOS program. And uh, here you're gonna find all the files that you need to, let's say, um, yeah, do some BIOS updates on your older motherboards, like I have already said, or if you just want to do some other stuff, you can do uh, with, with with this USB stick. Now you can do lots of things, not just some BIOS updates on older motherboards. You can do really a lot of stuff. Okay, so yeah, this was now all for me. You can just type CTRL, Alt, and Delete, and then you can all the time get back, and so the computer will restart. And then you can, uh, let's say, be able to boot again into your Windows. Um, I hope you like this video. If you have some questions, um, just feel free to leave me a comment. And I hope that you have understand it all. Um, try to get all these files, uh, let's say, over Google. Otherwise, I'm going to just, um, yeah, let's say, upload this all on my OneDrive. And then you're going to be able to download it. But I'm pretty sure, like I told, that you're going to be able to find all these files um, over Google. Okay, so that was all for now, and uh, that was all for me, and the see in the place to be. I wish you the best, and uh, I hope that all gonna work for you guys. <laughs> all right, see you soon. That was me, and the see in the place to be. Peace.